Hello, today we're talking about seasons and seasonal growth. Hi, I'm Farmer Teacher, and we're following along with the Farming Simulator Academy. And now we're up to seasons and seasonal growth. So first of all, let's jump into the menu here. And I just want to show you the settings. If you go down to this one, it uh, has your little tractor there. That's We got here by hitting the three little lines and then scrolling down with the LB and RB buttons to this. <clears throat> okay, so if you look right over here, it says seasonal growth, and we have that turned on. And if you do, that means you're going to have seasons, and it's going to change. You know, you start always start in August in a new game, and it's going to change month to month. And that dictates how you conduct your farm and how you're going to plant and all that stuff. Uh, next one down is you got days per month, and the default is one day. And a lot of people play that way. And you can run it all the way up to 28 days, which is almost like real life. Okay, 28 days in a month. So uh, that's kind of crazy, but you can do that if your farm's big and you have a lot of stuff you got to do before the end of the day. Okay, so uh, if you want to see a lot of snow in the winter too, you can increase this and you'll see more because it stays winter longer. It stays on the ground and you'll get more snow. Uh, fixed visual month. Now that, what that's for is if you have seasonal growth turned off, okay, and there's no seasons, then it kind of becomes like Farming Simulator 19 where you didn't have seasons. Seasons was a mod back then, and now it's standard. But if you turn seasons off, you can pick a month here or what season you want it to be, the default, and your map, maybe you like October, so it's always going to look like October, Okay, so let me just show you if I turn this off and I put it on October, then all the fields or all the trees have changed because it is now October. And you can go back if I change that to December. Now it's winter time. The leaves are gone. It may or may not snow. And uh, that's what it looks like. So that's what that's for. If you have season seasonal growth turned off, then you can set it. A lot of people do summer. Farming similar to 19 was kind of like summer all year. Uh, but if you have a particular one, you can change that. Uh, snow is whether it's going to snow or not when it gets to winter time. Uh, I like to have that on. I like the realism. It does make it hard to drive your equipment. Okay. Now this follows along. Let's go back because this we're going to have this on and this is going to be off. Okay. So it's going to follow like the regular, like right now we're in August. It's going to follow that. And if you do that, you got to go up here and check out this crop calendar. Now, a couple of things to note uh, with the seasons. Uh, you always start in August. So that's pretty much toward the end of summer. Okay. So summer, you have various types of crops. Obviously, you can do, uh, let me go to the top here. You can do grass. If you look at this, you know, grass is one of the things you could do most of the year. You can plant that uh, nine months out of the year. You can see down there in the bottom. Uh, and you can harvest grass anytime. Usually, you're not going to be doing it in the dead of winter because if you've harvested it already, uh, it's not going to grow back till March. But if you haven't, you can actually harvest grass uh, in the dead of winter, which is kind of cool. Uh, so your other crops, so you got to be careful. Let's look at wheat. You plant that in July, and you're if you plant in July, you're going to harvest in September. You could, oh, I'm sorry, I got it backwards. If you plant, I'm sorry, in September, the green part is where you plant. If you plant in September or October, if you plant in September, you're going to harvest that in July. And if you plant in October, you're going to harvest that in August. Okay, uh, let's go a little further down. Look at canola. You plant that in August and September. You're going to harvest that in July or August. That's important because if you wait to the month after, it's going to be wilted and you've lost your crop and whatever money you've invested in it. So that's not necessarily great okay not a good thing so you don't want to do that so this is the season now this map this is elm creek right here it's pretty similar on the standard maps but some of the modded maps have uh one they have different crops and two the season 
uh, might be different. I've seen some where you could plant canola on two different times during the year based on where you're at in the world, right? The weather is different. Uh, so take that into account. You know, if you memorize this and you say you always plant wheat in September and October and harvest it in July and August, and you might try a different map, but it's different. So be sure you check that out first. Okay, a couple of things to note on here. If you notice, spring is when most, look at March and April there, and a little bit in May, that's where most of your crops are planted. But there are some exceptions. You know, you got wheat and barley and canola, and then cotton you can actually, the only one you can plant normally in February. Uh, so there are a few exceptions always. Uh, summer is when you have the most interesting part for, you know, grasslands and whatever. That's You're going to have a lot of grass there. A uh, good time to do that. You need food for the animals, and you got to prepare for the winter. Fall is harvesting time for a lot of crops. You can see there in October, a lot of things are harvested in October, and then some in August and September. There's a few in June, you know, over the summer. Like I say, there's always exceptions. And you got to get ready for winter. If you have animals, maybe you got to store up some grain for your chickens, or you got to store up some hay for your cows, or whatever the case is. You have to get ready for winter because you're not harvesting anything in winter. So you'll need a, a silo or a hayloft or somewhere to store some of that stuff so you can get through the winter. When you get to the winter, you may or may not need to plow the roads. If you have it set on like three days per month, uh, you're going to get enough snow accumulation where you probably need to go into the menu there and get a plow and plow your roads. You can move around a little bit and still feed your animals. So that becomes a thing. Uh, greenhouses are also important then because when you're not harvesting other things, just like in real life, greenhouses allow you to get some type of income, you know, during the winter. Uh, winter is it also a good time to do a little planning. Uh, some, sometimes I do forestry then and clear some trees so I can add another field. Uh, you might want to look at uh, some construction stuff in the winter while you're not busy harvesting, planting and harvesting crops. Uh, production chains you could set up, different things like that, activities you could do over the winter. Now, if you get stuck and it gets slow in the winter, you can always just go to your house or cabin and sleep till tomorrow or slash next month and see what activities you have then. So you're not always stuck. You know, you don't have to sit there and wait. You can also speed time up. If you go down here to this menu again, uh, right here at the top, you can change the time there all the way up actually to 360, which is, I only do go fast like that if it's raining or something and I need to harvest something. So sometimes I'll speed it up, wait for the rain to stop, and then I'll go back down, you know, to some reasonable amount. And sometimes I have to slow it down if I got a lot to harvest that day and maybe I don't have all the biggest equipment yet. I might slow time down, but the default is going to be five times normal time. Okay, that's this episode of our Farming Simulator Academy. Follow along with that. And if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments, and I'll do my best to get them answered for you. I'm Farmer Teacher. I'll see you next time. Share this with your farming buddies, too, by the way. See you. Bye.